131332 is our telephone number. Love to have your company, any subject you like. Tantamatic doesn't make long, boring speeches. He hits you right between the eyes. Stan Zamonic. What a bloody legend. This this book is... Uh, I bought this when it first came out. And um, it was written by Marcella and uh, also Stan Zamonic. What a bloody legend, I'm telling you. He's a great... It's a great read. There we go. That's them. And... Look at this, look. Your backside's on your shoulders. You're a few beers short of a six-pack. <laughs> if ignorance was bliss, this woman would be orgasmic. He came out with some of the classics, that guy. Anyway. Uh, this is a big one for me. This guy's a legend. He died of cancer. Um, he, I can remember some of some of his last calls just months before he passed um he had some fun calls he didn't have the sounds like he didn't have the strength to actually carry on so he's there just, just listening and um saying a few words and this one rang up his person rang up and um he said something that he shouldn't have said and um he should be ashamed of, me, of himself actually this person that rang up because he, he was close to, you know, months before he died. Pretty sure it was months before he died. And it was um, one of his, I can remember it was one of his last calls. And this man rang up and said, oh, you got brain cancer? And he told him it was good. And so um, it's like you, it's your, own, your own fault and blamed him. And he couldn't, he couldn't even answer back because he didn't have the strength anymore to do it. And um, what can you say? That was, you know, that guy that rang up should be ashamed of what he said. How rude can you be to a person? Yeah, okay, yeah. I oh, know uh, Stan had been pretty rude at, at, at times. Um, but it's it was part of the entertainment. It was part of the fun. And um, there is no radio show in Australia like that anymore. Not even one. No one can go, go even near him. Stan Zermatt was the best on TUE. Um, whatever recordings I had, I've put some out there, but um, there's more that uh, I recorded and um, my um, mother had recorded as well. But um, I plan to um, uh, go out to find out where his... Um, his grave is or where his ashes are buried I plan to do that and uh, you can watch me do as I go uh, read a few little lines of the book and also um, not only that um, I will go out there and um, make some phone calls as well and you can watch me do the whole thing I'll, I'll start so I'll try not to use this stupid wobbly camera <laughs> this camera is just moving all over the place because I'm holding it and um yeah uh and regarding the phone calls to stan zamanik i never made one to him i was more of a listener to hear uh what um people had said to him and um i think he did he held a competition once so i rang up and um he said my name and then he said um oh, what answer have you got and i said jerry lewis and he goes no sorry wrong answer and then he went to the next person so i think i can't remember what question he asked i'll just remember saying jerry lewis he probably asked what movie blah 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 and he had tickets for a show i think or some uh price to give as usual but um yeah no one does that anymore not no one gives anything away you don't hear about giveaways you don't hear about um these grand shows that uh, people make or used to make. He had them all. He had all the shows. He had all these shows that he took around Sydney and, you know, um, regional areas as well, I believe. And um, giveaways like like you wouldn't believe, like uh, champagne and everything else. And, mate, what a legend he was. He was. 
and and I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, I can't stand him. No, he's a legend, and um, you won't find there's no one like him, and there's a lot of people that are missing him right now. So because of those people, uh, if you're missing him, uh, like uh, I have been for years, you know, uh, there's nothing on like him on the radio. I don't listen to AM radio much now because he's not on. It's, it's all boring, and the people that are, the, you know, the presenters that are there now, it just doesn't really do anything for me, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to go out, and if, I know I'm just telling you, I'm telling you straight up how I feel, you know, about uh, the radio because there's just nothing on anymore. It's just um, uh, the people that, uh, you know, you get these the same people ringing up and things. It's okay. But it's just the the one the presenters that are on. It's just they haven't got the stamina like he did, like Stan did, and the char character the you know he had some he had something there uh, that make you want to listen to him all the time. Made you want to listen to him, you know, every night. But you know, um, you know, I listen to um, some talk back now on the radios. And some of it's just, you know, you listen to it once or twice and you can't be bothered anymore, you know. That's me anyway, can't be bothered. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I'll be going out. I'll be going out. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take you through this book. I'll take you through this book, book for a little bit so you can have a listen. That's a great, it's a great read as well. I've read it once. Uh, I'm... You know, I will read it again and um, go out to the locations and also not just the location, um, but uh, make some phone calls because I need to find out where he's buried. I made one phone call before, but I'm about to make some more and find out what's happening. You know, it's my own Stanza Minock story and, um, and it's not a big one, but hey. It's one for the record, eh? But we can make it a big one. <laughs> uh, so I can extend it a little bit. But I have had some thoughts where I could get hold of some of um, the people that were invol involved in the show. So um, I've thought of two people. Uh, one of them was Costa. Uh, Costa, who owns a pizza shop, and I think he might still do. And I need to find out where he is. And his doctor, so he was very close with his doctor, and um, that's Charlie T.O. I haven't forgotten his name. So um, let me get hold of these uh, these guys and see if um, they like to have a chat. I'll go and find out where they are. I'll go and meet them, shake their hands, and um, uh, see what we can do uh, for the show. So coming up, Stan Zermanek. A tribute show um, so I'll be off to see Costa and his doctor Charlie Teo see you then bye for now <laughs>